Paper, pencils, and privilege? That's right. Democratic student leaders at Elizabethtown College in Pennsylvania have asked their peers and professors to wear white puzzle pins to bring attention to white privilege. We wondered if their campaign would just cause more division among the races instead of bringing people together. So Waters World traveled to central Pennsylvania to see what it was all about. Why are you wearing a white privilege button? Because I'm acknowledging that I have white privilege because my skin tone is white. You look a little flushed though, not completely white. Yeah, because I'm embarrassed to be talking about kids. What is white privilege? I don't know if I'm qualified to answer that question. You're white. White privilege month here <laughs> at school. How do you guys feel about that? Nobody really cares. Yeah. White privilege is a myth. White Privilege Month. Don't you guys think you're taking away from Black History Month? Uh, hmm, that's an interesting question. I don't feel like I would be turned down from a job or anything like that because of my skin color. I'd turn you down for your hair. It's blue! How does it feel to have white privilege? Well, I think being white, I don't necessarily feel it. I think it's something that other people are noticing. And wait, wait, you don't know that you're white? You mean I'm not white? Oh yeah, no, I know I'm white. Maybe they might look at me and maybe if I dress a certain way, they might look like, they might look like I'm a thug or something. Oh, because you have a hoodie? A uh, hoodie or oh, something. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I might, I might look like a bad guy or... If you could change your race, would you do that? Mm. No, because then that would change who I am fundamentally. So you like your white privilege? I... <laughs> That's a good one. That's a double-sided one. Do you believe white privilege exists in this country? Yeah. Then how did Obama become president? It is easier in America to be white, but I do not believe in white privilege. Is it easier to be white on the dance floor? I mean, I can't dance to save my life. I trip over patterns in the carpet. Wait, <laughs> Do you feel guilty about your white privilege? Sometimes, but it's just a part of me. I'm, I wouldn't change the fact that I'm white. Race is a social construct. So you're not white? I am Italian. I'm American. So isn't it more determinative to be have American privilege than have white privilege? Okay, I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> All right, we were doing so well, I thought. Joining me now with his take on all this is deputy editor of The Daily Caller, as well as the author of the brand new book, No Campus for White Men, Scott Greer. So I talked to all these college students and I still don't even understand what white privilege is. Can you please explain it to me? Well, white privilege is a term that they use for all Caucasians living in America and other Western countries have these inherent social privileges such as they can walk into a mall and security won't be eyeing them, that they... Wait, well, why, won't, why won't security eye me when I walk into a mall? Because they apparently, the, according to the theory, is that mall security only targets minorities. They give more attention, and apparently that hurts their lives. Okay. So they say that white, whites benefit this. They call it an invisible knapsack that we all carry around, and we get all this privilege. It's these social privileges. You really can't legislate it about policy, and I don't know how wearing puzzle pins is going <laughs> to change anything about it. I mean, it's just making you look silly. Yeah, I don't know. And when you put the puzzle pieces all together, I don't know what that's supposed to uh, It's too much that? white privilege for anyone to handle, now, I think. So assuming that there is a little white privilege, let's just take that for granted, what am I supposed to feel? Guilty about that? Yeah, I think that's, what, to feel guilty. that's what they want you to feel, to feel guilty. I mean, the whole purpose at Elizabethtown is like, we're putting these p puzzle pins on just to show our shame for having white privilege, oh. even though it's something that you didn't even have any course over. We didn't determine our color or skin or birth, you know. It's, we didn't check it off. It's like, yeah, I want to be white to right. have all this privilege. I didn't pay for it's, white privilege. It's something that you have no control over, yet people are supposed to be feeling guilty about it. So, if you feel guilty about your white privilege, what are you supposed to do about it? What can I do? Well, as the example is just feel bad about it. I outlined so in my book. it's just about feeling bad. Yeah, I outlined in my book, No Campus for White Men, all the examples of like how it's just about making white people kind of feel bad for all these privileges. And now we even have Hillary Clinton last year in her, camp, in her campaign campaigning on, I, I do have white privilege, which is, well, what are we supposed to do about that? You know, I think white privilege does exist, but um, there's no white privilege on the basketball court because when I play, I can't jump. 
I can, all I can do is shoot. I mean, I'm a mess out there. So I don't think it's an across the board thing. No, it's not. I mean, everybody in life has certain difficulties that they have to overcome. Especially and, men. And some people have benefits or advantages that other people don't have. Right. And just reducing it to a racial thing just creates more division and doesn't ease race relations. It just makes them worse. So I think it's, it's almost uh, keeping things around that we shouldn't have. That's true. Well, I mean, there's also there's handsome privilege. There's tall privilege. I think everyone's privileged in one way or the other. Um, but... I don't feel that guilty about it, I have to say. Thank you very much, Scott. I really Thank appreciate you. it.